Let's take a closer look at what happened at the first WEC race in 2025 in Qatar. Like always, to understand the race result, we have to take a look at the BOP rating first. And here, we can see that the two most successful cars, Porsche and Toyota, are by far the heaviest cars with around the same power as others. So they have by far the worst ratio and it's no wonder that they were not competitive. Porsche is 16 kg heavier than last year when they won the race and Ferrari is almost 40 kg lighter. Ferrari locked out the podium this year. So you see where this is going. Toyota actually performed still surprisingly well in the race because they made no mistakes and took advantage of others problems. So they could finish in 5th and 6th position. By far the best rating has the Peugeot with low weight and by far the most power, but they couldn't transform that into better positions than 12 and 14. Alpine had a midfield rating and could fight in the midfield. In the end they finished 9th and 15th. The new Aston Martin Valkyrie LMH has a pretty good rating if we compare it to other new joiners, but they are simply not fast enough at the moment. Also, their door problem threw them back during the race, but it's a great looking and sounding race car on track. And it's a lot of work to use two new cars at the first race. Adrian Newey started his job at Aston Martin this week and he might take a look if his baby could do a little bit better. The second best rating had actually the Cadillac, but their internal collision prevented a better result, but gave us an interesting look under the cover. Only BMW could stay close to the Ferraris, but was never in for the win. Also, the BMW had a very good rating, which explains their performance. So in the end, Ferrari was dominant during the race and no one could really get close to them. We already know that Porsche, Ferrari and Toyota can still win even with bad ratings. The weight reduction of the Ferrari boosted their performance in Qatar. So how did you like the first WEC race in 2025 and do you think Aston Martin will catch up soon? Let me know in the comments below and see you at the next video.